Not great stuff here for Jay, but Jay's a realist here. Michigan State over Duke at an empty Cameron Indoor last night. Izzo getting his first regular season win against Coach K. He's got three wins in his career against Mike. The previous two came in the tournament. So when it matters the most, Izzo's been good against Coach K. Not an easy thing to do, but he got one over on him last night in Durham in the other game, Kansas over Kentucky. Tom Izzo saying, I don't care if this is regular season, postseason, packed to the gills, no fans. Ooh. This is a win. And this is legit. Once the game starts, you know, you get caught up in the game and you, you kind of don't realize the crowd. Now, at the end, when they were coming back, banking in threes and stuff, I'm sure the crazies could have made it even crazier. But I think the Izzo could make it crazy at our place, too. So we're losing out some, uh, you know. Um, I know one thing. I'm not going to put this as an asterisk. No fans or not fans. Uh, you know, it was a good win for us against a good team, a great program, and a very, very well-coached team. I've, I've watched Duke lose before, though, Jay, at home with fans. So why is it, like, questioned because Michigan State beats Duke at home? No, I, I think it, it's easy to go to a place where, well, there, there are no fans, and, and, you know, Duke has a major advantage when they play with the Cameron Crazies. But you can say the same about the Breslin Center. I, I agree with Tom Izzo. Look, they have a veteran team. They have a team with more experience. Rocky Watts last night had 20 points. Aaron Henry played well. Joshua Langford is one of the best stories in college basketball. And Duke right now, they have a team full of role players. Uh -huh. Their veterans are role players. Their best players are freshmen. Mm -hmm. And Jalen Johnson is one of their best players. And they just played young last night. Michigan State, kudos to them in the way they won. Broke my heart, though, watching my team lose at home. Totally understand. Last couple things on college basketball before we go back to the NFL and some very eyebrow-raising comments from Greg McElroy couple things how rare is it for duke to lose to a non-conference opponent at home that's what happened last oh, night right a big 10 team came into happens. cameron indoor jay said it rarely happens in the last 20 years key i mean jay knows in the last 20 years we'll how many non <laughs> no i'm not doubting you i'm not doubting the, the, you the 20 number is the number Zubin. no I'm, well messing, done. I'm messing with you you know me in the last 20 years how many non-conference teams outside of the acc have come into cameron indoor and won a game in the last 20 years Three. Yes. Yeah. That is correct. Kansas. Not Kansas. No Kansas. Not Kansas. St. John's is one. St. John's, two thousand. That, that was twenty me. years ago. To that me. Lost oh, to St. John's. There. Lost St. John's. Yeah. Last second shot. Stephen F. Austin. Yes. No. Yeah. At the buzzer in one of the greatest and what finishes was it? of last season. Who else season? was last night? Oh, last Stephen night. F. Austin was last year. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yes. I watched because Cassius. Cassius, Cassius is Stanley. Right. I watched the game. Stephen That's right. F. Austin winning the game, which is at crazy the when you buzzer. think about it. Three, only three and teams, three non conference the, teams. Y'all had the what is Cam, Cam, Camden Crazies or Boozer Crazies? Or Cameron something? Crazies. <laughs> Cameron, Cameron Crazies. All right. Not Camden Yards. Yeah, Cameron Crazies. All right, whatever. I got you. And the last thing I would say, and I know Jay knows this too. Huge, huge college basketball slate tonight on ESPN. We've got Illinois and Baylor. Two Final Four dreaming teams, yep. and then Gonzaga, who has just looked off the hook this year. They'll take on West Virginia. They look off the hook every year. Gonzaga always, I mean, they, they every season, Jay, you cover college basketball. It's like they're balling, they're 20 something and one, they're getting ready to do they're it right the tournament. There. Then they go home. I mean, they, they said they that. never that, finish. They said that about Villanova until Villanova won. So, But we've that, been saying this forever about Gonzaga. Mm -hmm. Villanova won, yeah, but Villanova's also won in the past, and Villanova's been on the scene since we were born. Yeah, I mean, look, they're 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 not a mid-major. I mean, they're, they're, they are they're play like in the Power Five. I mean, it feels like they belong there. I do think it's a matter of time before Mark Few and company get a championship. Though. Also, Texas, North Carolina play. Very right, big Maui game. Invitational. Which is being played in Shaka Asheville, Smart. North Carolina. Yeah. How about that? The Maui Invitational. Shaka Smart with hair. Yes, he's got I've never hair. seen it see before. That? I saw Have that you seen yesterday. It? No, I didn't yeah. see it. You got to yeah. show it to me during a break. Yeah, he's got a little hair now. That game, by the way, is the Maui Invitational in Asheville, North Carolina. Welcome to 2020. And we'll say, if you're a Gonzaga point, 2017 National Championship. They played North Carolina. Yes, they did. With 100 right there. seconds to go. A buck 40. 100 seconds to go. The game was tied. That's how close they, they right have there. gotten to the national. They need to get over the. No, they could get there. Small schools like that have done it before. It's just every being out on the West Coast and being a part of that. It's just like every year, Gonzaga, Gonzaga, Gonzaga. Then no Gonzaga. It's just funny. They are a small school, but they are a powerhouse in basketball. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.